Watches are not watches anymore. Watches used to be something you told the time with. Now they're a kind of advanced technological machine, a miracle of engineering. They're not just watches, they're calculators, computers. People talk about it. Look at this. See this? It's an extraordinary watch. See, not only does it tell the time here in London, but you see this little dial over here to the left of the 12th? That tells me the time in San Francisco. This one on the right here by the two tells me the time in Tokyo. And this one down here at the bottom tells me the time in Vancouver. Extraordinary, isn't it? Isn't that one of them, to be able to tell the time? Do you want to know what time it is in San Francisco? No. <laughs> you don't want to know what time it is in I don't want to know what time it is in San Francisco. Yes, I would want to know. I'm in London. What the hell would I want to know what the time is in San Francisco? Oh, how about Tokyo? Piss off. <laughs> It's a calculator, really. Yes, wonderful. It's a musical box, memory bank. When's the, when's the, and they'll say things like, when's your birthday? And you go, uh, 6th of July. All right, just a second. I'll wait. And suddenly, the calendar and the clock will go, 6th of July, and the little watch will go, <laughs> <laughs> the stopwatch. Stopwatch. I said, I said, what do you want a stopwatch for? He said, well, it's very handy if I'm doing something. And I like to know how long it takes me. I just, when I, when I started, I just pressed the button. And when I finished, I go, I said, well, like what? He said, well, when I'm making love. When I'm making love, it's very interesting to see how long I take to make love. <laughs> just before I enter, I go, <laughs> and when I finish, I go, three and a half seconds. <laughs> there's a compass, you see, there's a compass there, look, north, south, east and west. <laughs> Why do you want to know? Why do you want to know? What do you want to know? Compass! For on your watch, this one's very handy. I'd like to know where I'm going, which direction I'm going. When I'm making love, I can go north by northwest, <laughs> west, south, south, south by east, west, north. <laughs> People actually say things like shockproof. Shockproof. I'm going to get one of those shockproof watches and go. The Pope's a poof. <laughs> Thing that, that work. <laughs> that they'll, they'll boast about a watch that can tell you the time at 50 fathoms. <laughs> <laughs> Who in the name of Christ is going to ask you what time it is at 50 fathoms? <laughs> You're down there. You're in the murk, the gloom. <laughs> Somebody goes out of the morning. Would you like to know what time it is in ten minutes? I mean, how we live by time, how we live, how we live by the watch, the clock. We're brought up to the clock. We're brought up to respect the clock, admire the clock, punctuality. We live a life to the clock. Isn't that right? You wait to the clock. You go to work to the clock. You clock in to the clock. You clock out to the clock. You come home to the clock. You eat to the clock. You drink to the clock. You go to bed to the clock. You get up to the clock. You go back to work to the clock. You do that for 40 years of your life. You retire. What they fucking give you? A clock. 